is the hardest trophy to win in sports, and the quest to win it starts tonight. Stanley Cup playoffs, EA Sports, enough said. Really looking forward to this one tonight. This is what you play for. Moments like this, you can feel the energy in this building, and we are underway. Puck steps into the bench, and we'll get a reset. Still plenty of time left in this frame. Still looking for our first goal. And from off the wing, he comes up with it with both centers scrummed up. There's the whistle. Let's see what the referee saw. Well, this certainly wasn't part of the pregame speech, James. Now they're behind the eight ball. They got to kill off a penalty. They just simply weren't ready to play. bump off the puck because of his strength and balance. That's his unstoppable force zone ability, and it helps him maintain possession in the zone. Hellebuck's a star goaltender who backstops his team confidently. Before I send it back upstairs, you should know I'll be looking to see who will power their team to victory tonight. Colorado's across the blue line. Battle ensues for that loose puck along the boards. Oh, great read! The Jets get a hold of the puck under man. They'll want to clear the zone here while they're trying to kill off this penalty. Through the neutral zone and into the offensive end. And that's intercepted by Ayafalo. And the puck leaves the zone. Here's a short pass to Rantanen. Fires it on net. The Avalanche have possession along the boards. Trying to gain a step. Wholesale changes coming up as they send it in. Nice zone entry from the left. Moves it to Nemestikov. Knocked away in the offensive zone. He tosses it on to Sandberg. Got saved by goalie. What a save from point blank range. I mean, he's in fabulous position, square to the shooter in the slot, and he makes the glove hand save. Winnipeg's taking possession in their own end. From the left side, he moves it up ahead. Quick feed to Swatted away with the stick in the defensive zone. Less the wrist of fly. Oh, what a save on the play! Oh, that's such an athletic save, James. I mean, that's just all about competing, finding a way to get to the puck. The Jets take possession in the neutral zone. Poked away in the neutral zone by Taves. Moves it on over to O'Connor. Big open ice hit! The cliche in hockey is you want to start the game hard and physical and really set the tone, and that's what he was doing right there. Looking to make something happen in the offensive zone. Winnipeg's grab a hold of the puck. Can't maintain possession after that hit. They go on the attack from the left side. Here's a shot. Stopped by the goaltender getting a piece of that one. Centering pass. Lots of time left in this period. Still scoreless in this one. Shifley's quick stick off the draw wins possession. On the attack into the offensive end, right up the gut. Good save. And the goalie covers up for the whistle. Still a lot of time left in the period as we approach the midway mark. Still no score in this one. McKinnon's won the draw deep in the defensive zone. Shot! And he had the answer on that one. Scooped up along the wall by Perfetti. Moves it quickly over to Barron. Winnipeg's got the puck now. And he turns that one aside. Well, this is an incredible save, James. It's anticipation as well. Recognize that the shooter is in the low slot. Get in. The to come by James as the ice closes up and everyone's playing urgent and physical. They got the first one here. That's a good way to start. 
Winnipeg's efforts pay off as they get the game's first goals. We inch closer to the midway mark of the first. Yeah, and they're inching closer and closer to more goals here as they get the first one of the game. And sometimes scoring is a struggle, James. But when you put one by the tender, often it comes in bunches. Hellebuck's got the puck and will hang on for the whistle. Well, he hasn't been busy, James, but he makes a key save right there. Really important that he keeps his head and focus in the game. Officials getting ready to drop the puck. Puck possession so key in today's game. Barron's moving it ahead. Great heads-up play with the stick by Gerard. Taken by Johansson. The Avs take it along the wall. And now it's grabbed by Drouin. Oh, and he can't bury that one! Uh, you don't give any opportunities like this in a game, James. You have to execute. He completely misses the net. Parisi's gaining momentum. Moves it around along the half wall. Winnipeg's got a hold of the puck now. Here's a shot. Shuts it down with the paddle. What a stop. Oh, turns it aside once again. Well, he has been under siege, and I'm loving his compete level. I mean, he's making consecutive saves one after another. an impressive save. Love looking at this one again, James. You know that this goaltender is dialed in so focused when they're doing everything to get to the puck and keep their opponent at bay. Inching closer to the midway mark of the period. one nothing is where we sit at this point. The Avs win it in the defensive zone. Colorado's looking to break out. And now he passes up to Wagner. Well, that's what you call backtracking with a purpose, James. He thought that he was alone and in the clear, the opportunity gets taken away. Dishes it to Kilaranta. Across the line, down the left wall. And now he moves it quickly to Wagner. Here's a shot. Stopped by the goaltender. Hammers a shot. There's another consecutive save. I'm not sure where the defense is, but I'll tell you what, the goaltender has been outstanding, made a flurry of saves to keep his team in this one. There's the whistle. Let's get the call from the officials. Important task for the PKers ahead of them. Up by one and a real opportunity to protect it. Rontanen's an important piece to this power play unit, guys. He's got that zone ability, and it could really be the key to get things going here and give them the advantage. Back underway as he wins the draw inside the offensive zone. And the goaltender comes up with a piece of it to keep it out of the net. Goaltender covers up and will get a faceoff. Perfetti's gliding in for the faceoff as this penalty kill will continue. Winnipeg's won the draw. The Jets will kill off a few extra seconds now. And the puck is moved to a safer spot on the ice. Moves it over to Colton. Quick pass to Perfetti. Knocked away with the stick by Tate. Through the middle of the ice, they enter the attacking zone. Cuts to the point. Big stop by the goaltender right in front. What a fantastic save from a high danger scoring area, James. I and mean, he's bailing his team out. They have to do a better job of protecting the middle of the ice. Power play set to roll on as the setters get ready for the faceoff. The Avs take possession here inside the off zone. Puck moved back to the neutral zone. Grabbed along the board by Byra. Here's a short pass to Colton. Jabs the puck away. Trying to exit the defensive zone. And the puck's out of harm's way. The Avalanche have gained control of the puck along the wall. Peter Rogers almost out of the box. Winnipeg's back to even strength. And he denied that opportunity. Reaches out and pucks it away. The Jets take it along the wing. Moves it to Bellardi. And he's got the answer for that one. Byron's lugging the puck. Pass to Colton. Quick feed to Johansson. And that one's stopped. And he's pulled over to the ice and loses the puck. Shut it down. Keep a team in this game, James. Unbelievable save. 
Well, as play continues, can you feel the love tonight? Listen to this place here, Cheryl. I can feel it, you can feel it, and he can feel it after that last save. Because you know what fans appreciate? They appreciate effort, James, and that's how that save was made. Let's have a look at that last save again. It was absolutely incredible. You're under pressure, you're under attack, really under siege, and you find a way to get to the puck. This is the stuff that champions are made of. More than half the period has expired. 1-0 the score. Puck is dropped and he wins the draw here in the defensive zone. And now he angles it across to Perfetti. McKinnon's been brought down and we're going to get a penalty here. And there's another penalty call against the home team. These fans are frustrated. Cheryl, I think these calls are legit. I just think that the fans are wondering... What about the other side here? Well, yeah, they got to be expecting to get one soon here as it is one side, and it's so hard for a team to get into the game when there's no flow because you keep parading yourself to the box. The Avs send their men advantage unit out once more. Well, they earn this a power play, James, through hard work, and it's an opportunity to even the score here. They need to find a way to execute and get back to the even score. Moves it quickly over to Rantanen. Fires it and makes the save. We got a whistle as the puck's frozen. True is looking to win this draw and this man advantage here. Colorado's won the draw inside the offensive zone. Now let's see what they can do with it. They clear the zone. Moves the puck over to Rantanen. They'll want to clear the zone here while they're trying to kill off this penalty. Nice job to escape the zone. Moves it up. And that's some great pressure in the offensive end by Niederreiter. Morrissey's been feeling it, James. He got the go-ahead goal, and now the puck's on his stick. An attempt to clear the puck from deep inside his own end. Time ticking away here on this man advantage. Keeping it simple and creating some speed, but they have to gain entry fast. Sends a pass over. Shot! Colorado's one goal deficit remains intact as the man advantage unit can't convert. Denies him again! Well, they're going to continue to trail here because they weren't able to get the equalizer on the power play. A missed opportunity, and really, timing is everything, so they'll have to figure out a way to dictate pace and get back on the board. From the slot, this shot came up with the save on that play. They just keep coming in waves here in the offensive end. Takes the feed. Here's a short pass to Shifley. Tears him up. Stones him on the one-timer. No quarter given here as they battle for the loose puck along the boards. The Jets gain possession. Scores! It's in the back of the net. And it comes from an unlikely source because that's his first career playoff goal. Well, he's been relentless, James, in this playoffs. And you know what? He's found a way to find the back of the net. That's going to be a huge call for himself and his teammates. Uh, the key to passing is also knowing the receiver, and he has an uncanny ability to know exactly who he's passing to and the wheelhouse, where they're played, and how they're going to get it off effectively. I mean, he's incredible when it comes to distribution. Here in the late goings of the period, Winnipeg's got a two-goal lead. They'd love to build on it. Gains the zone from the right. Zone. Puck is grabbed here at center ice by Wagner. Chance in front. Stopped by the goaltender. Oh, what another save. Puck scooped up by Velarde. Hellebuck's been incredible tonight and seems to get better with every save that he makes. His confidence is gaining, and man, he has been electric between the pipes. And player hauled down to the ice. Looks like we got a tripping penalty coming up here. Carries it into the offensive end up the middle. Delay. Oh, my goodness, it's Tina. What a save. It was all but in, James, and that athleticism and the will to get to that puck, that was on display. Well, you can see in his body language that he's frustrated with himself as he dances to the penalty box for the second time this period. The 
Mavs once again send out their power play unit. Specialty teams in particular power plays, they can create so much momentum, but when you don't execute, it can really go the other way in favor of your opponent. It's really disrupted the flow of the game. They've got to get back on track. Goaltender hangs on for the whistle. Johansson's ready to take the draw here on this power play. First period almost in the books here, nearing the final 60 seconds. And there's the save. And they'll cover it up, forcing a stoppage in play. Lowry's ready for the draw as they continue to be shorthanded here. Johansson's won the faceoff here in the offensive zone. And that's not the way. He's got a little jump. All alone. What a save on the play. There he is on the backhand. There's another great save. Well, the shooter's in a coveted spot on the ice, right in the middle of it with a good pass. Oh, so good. What a stop. Well, that's desperation at its finest to be able to get to that puck and send a clear message to his team that he's behind him. He's going to be the foundation tonight. There's the buzzer. 20 minutes in the books. Second period just around the corner. Wood. 
The Avs carried along the wall. A chance in front! And that's deflected off someone in front. Great pressure with the stick. Ehlers setting up against the wall. There's a burst of energy for the team with that hit. A much needed hit as well. You gotta physically engage and find something to get you going. And they'll just dump it in and go for a line change. Slides it up to Niederreiter. Here's a chance! Oh, the break away! Oh, the got confused what he was gonna do there. You can see him looking at the goaltender, whether he's gonna shoot or deke, and while he's thinking, he's running out of real estate. Looking to make something happen along the boards. Denies him on the one-timer! And he slides it quickly to Byron. The Jets take it along the wall. Sends it in on the attack. Tenacious battle for the puck along the wall. Cuffs up the puck after that hit. The Avs will play from the defensive zone. Moves it quickly over to Byron. Takes the pass. Routine save made by Hellebuck. Winnipeg's got possession of the puck. And it's a quick pass to Dillon. Bullard is sliding the puck behind the net. Denies him in close. Stuffs him again. We haven't even hit the midway mark of the period. Winnipeg's fans are loving every minute of this one as they lead 4-0. Two, but it hasn't been for a lack of effort. All sorts of scoring chances. They take possession as he locks them up off the faceoff. Back to the point it goes. Quick pass to Lekanen. Sends the pass over. And he takes the feed. And that's blocked away. Schmitz moving the puck through his own zone. Winnipeg's through center right now in the offensive end. Good heads up defensive play as he extends the stick. Colorado's got it now. Oh, tremendous reflexes with the pad. What a stop by Hillebuck. Gain momentum up along the side. Sends the pass down low. Let's it go from the slot. Oh, it gets in front of that to make a great save. And both centers glide into the dot as a face-off set to resume. Colton's won it off the face-off. From the left side, takes the pass. Shot! Big stop right there! And the goaltender grabs that one for a whistle to try to slow things down here. They win the face-off here in their own end and take possession. Scores! And maybe an attempt to try to make it respectable, or is this a comeback here, Cheryl? Well, it certainly makes the deficit look better. And listen, there's a huge mountain to climb here, but that's the starting point. If you want to be able to claw your way back into this one, you got to build up that last shift. Colorado's got to find a way to build on this now. This is the time. It certainly is, James, and that's something to build off. When you get a goal, you can't sit idly by like you have all game. You have to find a way to execute and create some momentum and more offense if they want to get back in the game. Takes a shot. There's a shot. And there's a glove save on the play. Hellebuck's been solid here tonight, James. I mean, look at his save percentage. He's been excellent between the crease, and that's making the saves that you need to and you want to at the appropriate moment. Man, his team's been effective going north. Puck picked up by Gerard. Quick shot. Turns it away. Oh, and the goalie catches up right there. Here's a great use of the stick right there to poke it away. Here's a short pass to Ayafalo. Puts it on there. 
takes the dish. What a blocker stop at point blank range by a unit. Look at this attack here in the Ozone. Here's a hit, and they've got it in their own end here. One's gonna play it against the half wall. And he takes the pass. The Jets move it ahead. Moves it to Connor. Sets a pass in front. And he elects not to shoot and will hang on to the puck. Slides it diagonally to Colton. Now a quick pass to Kibaranta. Jostles for the puck, but still hangs on. From behind the net. Look to stop. effort at some point has to pay off. They've had plenty of scoring chances, but they still trail in this one. And they win the offensive zone face-off. Now let's see if they can capitalize. Big save by the goaltender. The Jets scoop it up along the boards. Dillon's got it in the defensive end. Great use of the body to knock him off the puck. Feeds it to the car. Lekkonen's got the puck. The Jets play it along the boards. Poked away and forces the turnover at center. The Jets move the puck in the defensive zone. Gaining momentum along the wing. Quick feed to Appleton. Stones him in front. Listen, Jane, the shooter's in the slot. This is as high danger as it can get, and he challenges. He's set, ready to go in great position and makes the save as a result. Past the midway mark of the frame, the Jets are giving their fans a lot to cheer about tonight as they lead it 4 1. And a solid save there as we play on. Parisi's got it in the offensive zone. Takes the puck into the corner of the offensive end. The Jets gain control of the puck. Winnipeg's got it in the offensive zone. And he slides it quickly to Barrett. Too much congestion blocks the shot. Pushes it across to Parisi. Here's a chance. Denies him. Battle ensues for that loose puck around the boards. Moves it quickly over to Morrissey. Down the left wing. They gain the zone. Denies him in front. really need to find a way to start finishing on some of these scoring chances because they trail here in the middle. Snaps one on net, and that's blocked in traffic. Denies that opportunity. As a goaltender, you have to be able to read and anticipate the play. He does it perfectly and is able to negate the shot. On the attack along the boards. Great use of the stick in the defensive end by Morrissey. The Avs take possession here in the open ice. Now over to Ehlers. Can't hang on to the puck after taking it off. Oh, and he just got enough of that one to keep it out. The Jets gain control of the puck against the wall. Morrissey's got it against the boards. Angles it over to Shifley. Oh, and he gets a block on it. What a reaction. Throws one up to Kibaranta. Great. Beats the goalie, but can't beat the post. Winnipeg's been having their way with their opponent all night long in the offensive zone. It's been all theirs. They've been directing traffic any which way they want and getting shots off that will. This one goes off the post, but really doesn't matter. They've got such a healthy cushion. Here in the later stages of this period, Winnipeg's got a little more jump in their step tonight. They lead it 4-1. That's a great heads-up play to break up the pass. Great use of the twig as he pokes that one away. Along the boards, they battle for the puck back and forth. Great heads up play to poke it away in the offensive end. Tries to feed it over to Connor. Good stand up hit. Velarde's got the puck in his own zone. Here they come through center and into the offensive end. Takes the puck at the point. Quick pass across to Shifley. Strong feed from along the boards. Here in the corner, he grabs the puck. Picked up along the wall by Niederreiter. Broken up with the stick in the defensive zone. 
The Jets gain possession along the wall. Great reach with the stick by Niederreiter. Receives the pass. And the traffic neutralizes that throw. And a solid save on the play there. The Avs need to start finding a way to finish on some of these chances here late in the second. Lowry's got it. Now they'll look to see what they can do with it offensively. And that's somehow stayed out of the net. A chance in front! And he denies that great opportunity there. The Avs have it now. And now he moves it quickly to Rantanen. Here they are on the attack. Along the half wall with the puck. And that's blocked from someone in front. Picked up along the boards by Gerard, And he moves it up to Rantanen. Oh, he gets a block around and what a stop by Hellebuck. Along the boards, they battle for the puck. Takes the feed. Turned aside with the glove by Hellebuck. Goaltender covers it up and we'll get a reset here. Getting into the later stages of this period, 4-1 is where we sit. A pretty one-sided affair. Winnipeg's got a hold of the puck. Quick pass to Drouet. Can't get it to go. Takes the feed. Takes the shot. Oh, how did he stop that one? Wow. Great positioning by the goaltender to redirect it to the corner, getting it out of danger. Winnipeg's got the puck in the defensive end. Colorado's got a hold of it against the wall. Slides the puck over. down still another 20 to go here in this one join us for period number three next here on the man advantage. Well, they haven't scored on the power play yet, man. It is a tough thing to do, and this is an earned opportunity. They practice, they know what they're doing. It'll come. Gets it out of his own end. Grabs the puck and moves on out here with this man advantage. Moves it to Johansson. The Avs gain the zone. Broken up with the stick in the defensive end. Trying to come up with a huge defensive play to get this puck out of his own end. Moves inside! Takes a hit, he goes down to the ice and coughs up the puck. Oh, what a save with a glove! All sorts of pressure here in the offensive end. They've really turned up a notch now. Puck is cleared out of the defensive zone. My goodness, look at this. The pressure is really starting to cook. Another shot! Oh, that's blocked! And there's a hit with a little violence. And there's the whistle official's hand. Signaling a penalty. As we get set for the face-off, a chance to see both teams in a little four-on-four -four action here. On a four-on-four, -four, you can expect all players on the ice when you're possessing the puck to activate. You have to be able to support the puck carrier, and if you're a defender, you know you're jumping into a lane going north. Winnipeg's got a chance to go to work on the power play here after their penalty expires. Both sides mixed up for that battle for the puck along the wall. Nice poke check inside the attacking zone. Winnipeg's in on the offensive attack now. Great defensive effort with the stick. And he slides it quickly to Colton. And he's knocked off the puck there. Colorado's going to be able to kill a few seconds off now with the puck. 
Sent into the offensive zone. Uses the force on that hit. Here's a short pass to Ehlers. And that shot goes nowhere as the lane was filled. A nasty whack, and the officials all over that one. Colorado's got it in their own zone. Here comes the official's call. Well, the refs are calling a really tight game, and man, this has been a parade to the penalty box, and the entire bench looks agitated, and as a result, they keep taking more. Not typically that we see four-on-four four action, although it's a lot of fun. You certainly know they practice it in practice. This is something that they're aware of. They know what they're doing. They want to possess the puck and try and create numerical advantage. Colorado's got it in their own zone. Unable to reach that one. Quick feed to Rantanen. And he comes up with a stop there. And they continue to fight for that puck along the wall. Puck by Rantanen. Oh, he got all of that. What a by Hillebuck. Felt like a swarm of bees out here with this pressure. Oh, what a save in front! And there's the whistle as the goaltender will hang on and give his team a breather. Nemestikov's side still shorthanded here as they slide in for the faceoff. The Avs win the draw. The Jets gain possession of the defensive zone. Takes a shot. Gets a piece of it to keep it out. The Avs get a hold of the puck along the boards. Gets a piece of it with the glove. What pressure here in the offensive end. Hellebuck's going to opt for the whistle. I don't mind this call here in the third. Neither do I. Listen, he has been so dialed in all night, James. He has been excellent, arguably their best player. And he's trying to preserve the lead here by holding on to this one to get the face off. Lowry's gained possession and his great work inside the face-off circle pays off again. The Avs come up empty-handed on the power play. We're back to even strength here. You know how often that this PK has been practiced together and you know... Hold on a second, James. There's going to be a call on this as you see the official signaling the penalty. I always hated to play in these games. It just came out flat and nothing you did made it better. Now they got to kill off a penalty when they're getting blown out. Real tough game. They haven't scored yet in the game on the power play, but no need to get frustrated. They all bring a different skill set. It's the reason why they're out there. Taves moves the puck. And now he tries to get it across to Makar. A little rock him, sock him on the play. He might have a step here. He's in. Oh, what a defensive play. Cogliano stick handling in his own zone. Moves it quickly over to Makar. Colorado's got it along the wall. Puck is grabbed here inside the offensive end by McCarr. Big hit, and that frees up possession. Here's a feed in front. Oh, wins the floor. Quick pass to McCarr. Taves carries the puck in his own zone. Winnipeg's got possession at center. Taken by Kibaranta. And there's the save. Lekkonen's almost ready to get back on the ice. Being on the power play is a privilege. Trust me, I know I was never on it, always on the PK. So for those players who didn't execute, yes, they had a comfortable lead, and some would say it's not a big deal, but to each and every one of them, it should be. Still lots of time left in the period. The Jets lead at 4-1. The Avs take possession off the faceoff. Nice speed at center, moves up ahead now. Great reach with the poke check by Connor. Shifley's got it on the offensive end. Moves it to Girard. Colorado's got the puck along the wall. What a stop! Referee's hand shoots high in the air. Looks like we got a tripping penalty coming up. Here comes the official's decision. Well, the PK players are getting a ton of ice time, but guess what? Your offensive players are not, so you can't generate and produce. they got to figure out a way to stay out of the box. The Jets send their man advantage unit out once more. Winnipeg's 
won it, now they'll go on the attack. Jostling for the puck, and he loses control. Here's a short pass to Johansson. Went for the dirty game, and it goes sideways. Sometimes when you lose the puck, it's a product of trying to do too much. Sometimes keeping it simple is more effective. He scores! Off the pipe, and it falls in the fly! Well, it's a game of inches, it isn't it? And this time, those inches, they work in his favor. They go right into the net. Let's have another look at this, James. Yep, there it is. I mean, look at that net front presence, just the screen and the goaltender battling to find the puck. That's exactly what you need in the paint on the power play. And as a result, they score. Winnipeg's playing almost like they want a day off here tomorrow, Cheryl. Yeah, I'd say so. And you always look forward to a day off. And this coaching staff has got to be impressed with this team tonight. You know, the ability to get the puck to net, driving the pace of play, and just having really great habits, consistent efforts right through the game. I'm not sure if anyone's helping him out there, but he's dialed in and doing it all himself, making consecutive saves. Comes up with a big pad save to deny. Works it across to Morrissey. Sends it in front. Scores! What a finish on the play! The goalie coaches work all the time with one screen or one player in front, James, and he's got to do a good job of finding this puck. I mean, it just beats him clean. Winnipeg's performance tonight still showing no signs of let-up here in this third period. Well, they've had such an impressive performance, James. It's been dominant in all areas of the ice, and there's been no lag or no let-up. The message has been clear by the coaching staff as well as everyone on the bench. Keep pushing. Brantonen's across the line now and on the attack in the offensive end. Oh, denied on the play! Wow! That's a true competitor save. Just when you think that he's completely out of it, James, he comes across. have the advantage in shots tonight, but they still find themselves trailing here in the third period. Play resumes here as he wins the draw inside the offensive zone. Up along the wing. Moves it to the middle. Picked off in front. Off the wall and right to the stick. Nice play. The Jets take it along the wing. Fires it into the offensive zone. Gerard's lugging the puck. Closes the gap along the wall. Slides it back to the blue line. Oh, and he makes another save. Quick feed to Lowry. Winnipeg's got a hold of the puck. Morrissey's got it along the wing. Let's get the call. That's the third call of the period, and it really looks like they weren't dialed in or ready to play in this game. And Preparation is key, otherwise things like this happen. Let's send it back down to ringside with Carlin Bade. Hellebuck's efforts have given this team a chance to win this game, guys. Given our matchup, it's hard not to give him the edge. True has won the faceoff, and now let's see what they can do. Takes a shot. Too much congestion in front. And he makes the save on that play. Penalty coming up here. True has called for tripping. He's off to the box. A little four-on-four four hockey as both teams step inside the face-off circle. A few ways to play a four on four. You can sit back or you can be very aggressive on the puck. But you have to make sure that you're aware as well. There's more ice out there for your opponent, too. Moves it quickly over to Shifley. And skilled use of the stick to poke the puck away. Quick shot. Oh, a clutch save. Hellebuck's made a great quality shot look easy. I mean, he is so efficient. He's dialed in, he tracks, and he makes the save. Takes a shot, turns it aside with a glove. Connors taking it from his own end. Great poke check on the reach. They gain the zone from the left side. Fires it on net, and that caroms off a body in traffic. The Jets have it now. Winnipeg's got a brief window on the power play with their penalty expired. 
The Jets have a hold of it in the defensive zone. With a comfortable lead, James, some would say that that power play really wasn't a big deal, but I would say different. It's really important that you push, you continue to work on your habits because the timing could be different next time. Quick pass to Parisi. The Avs carried along the wall. And it's a quick pass to Nemestikov. The Avs will play it in their own end. Moves it to Johansson. Here's a shot. Great save from in tight. Good use of the body to knock them off the puck. Nemestikov's gained the line and on the attack. Turns it aside. Gains the zone through center. Shot. Makes the save. We'll get a face-off after the puck stays covered up. The Avs continue to trail here late in this third period despite several scoring chances tonight. And they win the face-off and set up to go in the attack. Puck is frozen and we get a stoppage in play. And the centers glide towards the dot here as we got a face-off set to go. Monahan's won the draw inside his own end. The Jets will play it from the defensive zone. They've got numbers. Too many bodies in the way. Along the right wing, they enter the attacking area. Jostled off the puck. Here's a short pass to Ayafalo. Blows him up on that hit. Ah, the coach will be happy with the no-quit attitude with that late deliverance of a hit. But listen, they're down by a bunch of goals. It's a little too late. Moves the puck. The Avalanche have taken over in the neutral zone. Here's a shot. Stopped by the goaltender getting a piece of that one. Velarde's into the offensive zone now on the attack. Makes a move and the puck hops away from him. Oh, I know what he was trying to do there, James. He thought he had it with that move. Scores! Well, they've added another. Maybe a little too late, Cheryl, but they have win, right? Like, that's the one thing. They haven't packed it in just yet. Well, a uh, little too late, though, James. I mean, they're packing a little bit of bite right now, but look at the scoreboard. The only one who feels good about this one is the goal scorer gets a tick in that box. The Avs are showing a little pride here in the third. Really, that's all that it's about right now. This game is over, and you can see they just want this game and the clock to tick down. They want that final buzzer to go. Pass across to Shifley. Looking to make something happen along the boards. Now a quick pass to DeMello. And that banks off a stick. And he maintains possession of the puck here. Fires it. Nice blocker saved by Hillebuck. Big stop by the keeper.